this is Himabindu from the department of CSIT. Today in this video, I would like to explain about the normal forms in finite automata. So here uh, we already discussed about the context-free grammar and how to minimize this context-free grammar and what is the definition of context-free grammar. And now in this video, how many types of normal forms we have and how to convert this uh, context-free grammar to uh, normal forms. So here we will move to the slides. So here what is meant by normal form? So by reducing the grammar, the grammar gets minimized but does not standardize. So in previous videos, we discussed about the minimization of context-free grammar through the steps. We have the steps called, uh, you, first, uh, for first step is we have to remove the useless symbols, remove useless symbols. And next to second step, what we have to do? We have to remove epsilon, epsilon productions. And third one, we have to remove the unit production. Unit production. So we have, we minimized the context-free grammar this with the three steps. So in context-free grammar, so many uh, productions with the useless symbols and so many productions with the epsilon symbol and so many productions with the unit uh, unit production. So we have to remove all this kind of uh, productions and we have to minimize the context-free, given context-free grammar. So that is the thing what we have done previously. And now this removing the useless symbols and uh, unit productions and epsilon symbols is not a standardized way. So here to standardize this one, we have to uh, include this normal form. So it, it this is because the RHS, the right hand side of the productions have no specific format. So here after removing, the, after minimizing the context-free grammar, we don't have a specific format. So in the context-free grammar, to maintain that specific and, standard, and standardization in the grammar, we have, we have the two types types of normal forms. One is the Chomsky normal form and second one is the Grayback normal form. So if you want the grammar is some, uh, some specific format. So if you want to maintain a specific format in the context free grammar, we have to go for the context uh, normal forms called Chomsky hierarchy, uh, sorry, Chomsky normal form and Grayback normal form. So each normal form is having the own standards with the some rules. So we will discuss about the normal forms, Chomsky normal form and Grayback normal form. And what are the conditions which are involved in this normal form? So we will discuss. The first one is, so we have the normal forms divided into Chomsky normal form and Grayback normal form. So which is denoted by CNF which is Chomsky normal form and Grayback normal form is ZNF. So in uh, every time we are saying CFG, so this is nothing but context free grammar, context free grammar and this grammar is grammar what we have grammar and here CNF. So CNF is nothing but Chomsky normal form. So what we have to do, whenever the question arise like, we have to convert the given CFG to CNF. CNF. So uh, original uh, context-free grammar, what they have given, we have to convert that to a standardized normal form. So we are maintaining right hand side of the production. So here LHS and RHS. So here LHS only having the non-terminal and RHS we have there is a no specific after the after the minimization of minimization of CFG we don't have a specific don't have specific standards. So to maintain that standards, we are maintaining that standards in CNF and GNF. So we have to, after the minimization of CFZ, we have to maintain RHS side of the production rule in the specified format.
So, what are the specified formats for the Chomsky normal form and Graebeck normal form? We will discuss. So, in this video, we will discuss about the Chomsky normal form. Later in the coming video, we will discuss about the Graebeck normal form and how to convert this uh, context-free grammar to the normal form. So, in this video, we will discuss about the context-free grammar to Chomsky normal form. And what are the standards? Just now we discussed about the standards of no, uh, context-free grammar. So in the CNF, Chansky normal form, we have the standards. So what are the standard rules? If all the production rules satisfy one of the following conditions, so what are the standard and rules we have to follow for this maintaining of context-free grammar with the stand specific format? So here we have the start symbol generating epsilon. So here the start symbol which is generating epsilon, it is considered as a C and F. And the non-terminal generating two non-terminals. So here in the production rule, suppose if we write the production rule of this S tends to A, B, C and A, B. So, S tends to A, A. So, suppose these are the two grammars and these are the two production rules. So, in that one, if you want to check all these credentials, all these rules, we will see like this. So, it is, if it is having the A tends to epsilon, so it is considered as CNF. First, suppose it is having the S tends to two non-terminals. So, A capital letters, both are the right hand side, it is having the capital letters. So, both are the non-terminals. So, the, the right hand side which is having the two non-terminals, it is considered as C and F standard. So, C and F standard. And next, uh, third one is the non-terminal which is generating a terminal. So, a non left, a left hand side always it is having the non-terminal and right hand side is only having the terminal. So, which is represented with the small letters A. So, if this kind of production rules are there in the uh, uh, context of free grammar. So, it is also a CNF. It is following the standard called CNF, Chomsky normal form standard. So, this kind of uh, production rules are there it is the following the Chomsky normal form standard and here these are the two examples and these three non-terminals are there so here in this production s tends to a b c so in this one there are three continuous non-terminals are there so this is not following the standard so it is a not Greibach nor uh, Chomsky normal form standard and A, terminal and non-terminal. So, it is a combination of terminal and non-terminal. So, it is also a not a production rule or not a, uh, not a rule of CNF. So, it is also not following the CNF standard. So, both production rules are not satisfying the CNF. So, this kind of production rules are there in the CNF. We have to eliminate. And we have how to eliminate, we will discuss in the coming videos. And next, S tends to A. So, here these are the non-terminal and non-terminal. So, it is satisfying the second rule. So, what is the second rule says? The right hand side which is having the non two non-terminals, it is satisfying the CNF standard. So, this one is satisfying. So, this is comes under the CNF standard. So, this production rule is involved in the CFG. And here these are the two more uh, grammars. So here this will check whether the uh, it is following the CNF standards or not. So CNF standards which is generating uh, TNT non-terminal and non-terminal. So it is satisfying the conditions. And here the non-terminal which is generating a terminal. So only terminal which is uh, satisfying the con third condition. And this is also a third condition which is satisfied. And here also B tends to small b, so non-terminal. So it is also satisfying the non-terminal non uh, uh, Chomsky normal form standards. So this entire G1 is satisfied with the C and F. And next, the second grammar which say which having Terminal and non-terminal combination. So here there is a production rule, uh, production rules with the standards. 
so only terminal and non terminal and non terminal are required so here this kind of production rule which is we have to minimize this one so this kind of whenever the grammar appears this kind of production rule we have to change that to a non -term, two non terminals in the right hand side and these two these two production rules which are satisfying the c and f so this is the thing we have to minimize so how to minimize this kind of production rule we will see in the next video next slides so what are the steps for converting cfg context free grammar into cnf nor chamskay normal forms so here we discussed about the three rules which are satisfying for the context chamskay normal form so whenever the given context free grammar is given first step what we have to do when the eliminate the start symbol from the right hand side if the start symbol t is at the right hand side of any production create a new production so whenever t appears in the right hand side is also we have to convert that into a new state so we have to take one more new state and they name it as a s1 and the second step we have to minimize the context free grammar so here this minimization of context free grammar in the we discussed in the previous video so how to remove all the useless symbols and unit productions and epsilon symbols in the production rules so here we have to perform this kind of minimization in the second step to convert that given context free grammar to a c and f and eliminate the terminal from the right hand side of the production if they exist with the other non terminals or terminals so here whenever we discussed in the uh, grammar 2 we have this kind of this kind of production rule and whenever this kind of uh, production rule appear in the grammar what we have to do we have to convert that to a another we have to take one more non terminal and name it and give it and give the uh, it derivatives in terminal and that derivation after derivation we have to keep that uh, left hand side of the non terminal in the right hand side of the previous production rule so this is how we are doing we will discuss more this uh, examples and step 4 eliminate the rhs with more than two non terminals for example so here whenever this three non terminal right hand side of the production rule appear three non terminals we have to take two non terminals as a one production rule and we will we have to name that to a new production a new non terminal which is derives the two non terminals and later we have to substitute that value so here this is the happened so s tends to s tends to or s we are taking we we have or tends to as whenever or tends to this r is replaced with as and here this is how and this last s tends to or s which is satisfying the second rule that is having the right hand side it generates two non terminals in the right hand side so this two conditions are satisfied whenever this terminal and non terminal combination appear or three non terminals in the right hand side appear we have to follow these steps so this is how we have to convert the context free grammar to a chamskay normal form and we will discuss these steps with the example and here we have given a context free grammar so this grammar uh, we have to convert that to a chamskay normal form so here we have given a grammar g1 uh, uh, whenever the grammar is given we have to derive that equation derive the four four tuple notation so here what is the four tuple notation for this one so here when v s t p so this is the four tuple notation so four tuple notation if we represents non terminal set of non terminals so non terminals are s a b so these are the three non terminals so s a b and s is the start state and next t is the terminal so here terminals are a b and next p p is the production rule so which these are all the pre production rules so this is the four tuple notation of the given context free grammar after that first step what we have to do 
we have to minimize the grammar first. So, in the first step, what we have to do? S tends to, S1 tends to S and S tends to A, small a, b, and A tends to A, b, b, and epsilon. And B tends to, so here we have epsilon symbol is there. So here uh, in the second step, what we have to do, minimize the grammar. So in the minimization, so in the minimization steps, what we have to do first to remove useless symbols, useless symbols and remove epsilon productions and remove unit productions. So in that one, there are all our use, useful symbols only. So this is useful. So we can derive this uh, three production rules and next step is epsilon production we have to remove. So epsilon production we have to remove in the sense we have to substitute instead of A, we have to write the epsilon symbol. So here, so second step is we have to perform the removing of epsilon symbol. So here, epsilon symbol removing epsilon symbol, epsilon production. So how to remove S1 tends to S and next S tends to A, A and here after the substitution of A tends to epsilon, we will get A. So uh, already we have A, so we are not writing B and we have to include epsilon and next A tends to A, B, B and B tends to here if you substitute A, A, so A, A I am writing again A production we will in if you substitute A instead of A we will replace epsilon we will get A as a result so that is uh, we are writing and B. So this is what we got after the elimination of this epsilon symbol. So here we will we have the production rule S1 tends to S and S tends to and this step after this step whenever the third step is the first step what, what is the condition the start symbol which is having the epsilon it is a CNF. So this is also a CNF and we have one more thing, uh, product, we need to eliminate the unit production. In the minimization of uh, context-free grammar, we have to remove the unit production. So, how to remove the unit productions, we will discuss. So, here, after removing a, a unit production, S tends, S1 tends to, so S1 is there and here is, this one is also a unit production. So, S10, S and B. So, we have the right hand side whenever we appear right hand side only single non-terminal that is a unit production. We have to eliminate that unit production and elimination in the sense we have to replace that production rule. So, here uh, S tends to S. So, this unit production is replaced with the S non-terminal. So, what is the value of the non-terminal S? We have to write that. So, A, A, B. And next S tends to, same we have to write A, A and B. Instead of B, here we have A, 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 B. So that was we have to write A, A. So the why? Because we are eliminating the B, uh, eliminating the unit production. So here S tends to B. So here also B is there, we have to write. And next. Here A tends to, there is no unit production in the A non-terminal, we will write as it is and B tends to A, 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 B and here after minimization the third step is whenever we appear a terminal and non-terminal combination that is not a standard specific format. So we have to eliminate this kind of production rule. So what, how we will uh, eliminate in the sense instead of, so third step is A, A. So this kind of, sorry, S, ten, S tends to A, A production rules. So here we will write instead of A, X tends to A, 
and there is a B only B. There is a combination of A and A. So the, we don't require B. So here only non-terminal terminal A only. It is a combination with the term non-terminal symbol. So here we will write this production. We will write add this production rule to the given grammar. And we are uh, at the same time we are eliminating that with the two non-terminals. So here S1 tends to A. So before that one we will check terminal. So here this it extends to A. So it provides a terminal. So this is a C and F. So let's check with the terminal the production rules which are satisfying the specific standards of CNF or not. So this is the only single terminal. So it is satisfied and this is not satisfied and this is also not satisfied. This one, this one it is satisfied. And the same thing, these two are not satisfying the CNF. And here this one also it is not satisfying the CNF and this one is not satisfying this one, this one. So it is satisfied. So we will, uh, whenever the cross mark which was given for the production rules, we have to change that to a specific format. So how we will change this kind of production rule in the sense we have to give the non-terminal -ter symbol with the non-terminal representation. And so here whatever the correct, we have given the correct symbol, we no need to change that one. And here instead of A, we have to replace that with the X. So X, A, A, X and A, B. And next the same thing, A, X, A, A, X, A, B. And next A tends to, so here uh, we will replace this one. So this kind of A, X, B, B. And B tends to A, X, A, B. So now we will check. So this all are satisfying. This all are satisfying. And this all are satisfying. Only thing is the whenever we are in fourth step. Whenever we appear three S tends to A, B, C. This kind of three non-terminals three non-terminals we have to change that to a two non-terminals how in the sense we have to give one non-terminal tends to these two non-terminals and we will replace that with the production rule and here the first one uh, two production rules we have to write as it is and s tends to a x a a x a B and third one. So here A tends to X B. So X B whenever we will replace uh, C capital C with the X B or B B B B we will replace X C and here this production rule B tends to A X A B. So this is the oh, final C and F. So this the right hand side which is having the specific standards. So or le let's recall the specific standards whenever we, are in, we have the epsilon symbol in the starting state it is also included and whenever the right hand side of the non-terminals so right hand side of the production rules it is having the two non-terminals so all are having the non-terminals and non-terminal combination of two non-terminals and also when s tends to a only terminal which is satisfying the only terminal so this entire is converted the c CNF converted context to free grammar, it is having the Chomsky normal form. So, normal form standards are following. This is how we have to convert the given context to free grammar to Chomsky normal form. And we will also discuss one more example. And here, uh, convert this context to free grammar to Chomsky normal form. So, let's first write down the grammar. So, we have the Non-terminal set, so S comma A and next start state is S and 
uh, terminals are a comma b and next production rules Th these are the production rules so we have to follow that the steps which are involved in the context of free grammar converting that to a chance normal form so let's try, first write down the production rules which are satisfying the standard formats of c and f so first one epsilon included second one two non terminals it should be there in the right hand side and third one is only terminal symbol is there so these are the production these are the conditions or uh, conditions or rules which are satisfying the contact chunks kind normal form so first step what we have to do we have to minimize so whenever the chunks kind normal form context free grammar is given we have to convert that to a uh, minimization so minimization of c and z context free grammar so what are the steps involved in the minimization of context free grammar in the sense first one use remove the useless symbols first one remove useless symbols useless symbols and second one remove epsilon productions and third one remove unit production unit productions so here the grammar which is having production rules so these are the production rules so first step is we have to so first step is we have to replace this context free grammar so context free grammar s tends to a capital a e so here this grammar which is have this one is s sorry this one is s so here this s so we will write this entire production rules in the single line so here the we will write it as a s a a a b s a b s b b b and a b so these are the production rules which are having the single uh, non terminal which is having the product these production rules so here there is a no useless symbols and there is no unit productions so he, there is a minimization these three steps are not included here so why because there is a no useless symbols all are useless useful symbols only and they no no more epsilon productions are there and unit productions are also not there so there is no requirement of minimization of context free grammar and now we will write this production rule to a context chamskai normal form so in the chamskai normal form we have we don't want this kind of non right hand side we don't want this kind of production rules so here we have to minimize this one how to minimize in the sense we have to take one more non terminal x tends to a y tends to b so if you substitute these two values what we will get so s tends to so here whenever we require only these two only satisfying remaining all are not satisfying the c and f so we have to replace all these symbols with the x and y so here x is nothing but x s a x a a so x x and b also b s y s y and b b also y y and a b and here here this kind of third step is third step is this is the first step and this one second step this is the second step and third step what we have to do we have whenever three non terminals are appeared in the right hand side of the production rules we have to change that to a two non terminals so here one more production rule is included so s tends to s x so if you give s x sorry s x a tends to s x so a tends to x s and b tends to y s so if you replace with this a x 
x x b y and y y and a b so after this one so what we got so all are satisfying the chomsky normal form condition so this one two non terminals right hand side two non terminals this also two right two non terminals in the right hand side and this is also two non terminals in the right hand side this one and this is a non -term terminals which are single single terminals are there we have we have this is also satisfying the cnf and this is also two non terminals which are right hand side and this is also satisfying so here it is the converted cfg this is the clg converted to cnf so this is how we are converting the context free grammar to uh, chomsky normal form so whenever we are whenever we have given a chums, uh, context free grammar which is convert which is given for the conversion of chomsky normal form first step is we have to do the minimization so minimization so in the minimization we have the three steps so first step is useless symbols removal and second one is epsilon production removal and third one is the unit production removal after minimization of context free grammar we have to check for the three conditions so three conditions are like whenever the right hand side appears epsilon symbol it is in a chomsky normal form and right right hand side of the another production rule which is having the two non terminals so this is also a cnf and only terminal single terminal which is also satisfying the cnf so whenever this kind of standards or rules followed in the context free grammar so this is a chomsky normal form so normalization we have done for the context free grammar and one more grayback normal form which is discussed in the second video next video and how to convert the context free grammar to a grayback normal form so these are the references thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates